What's up, it's your friend with Anansi. We're back to again with another Chainsaw Man reaction, but it's about to be Denji versus the Eternity Devil. I've been calling this nigga the Hotel Devil the whole time. Let's go ahead and get straight to it. With the theme music. There you go, bro. That shit look crazy. Oh my god. This girl. I'm pretty sure she redeems herself this episode. I don't hate her like everybody else do. I understand why she was like this, because it was crazy, but hopefully she redeems herself. Lord Jesus. See, I knew you were like So he has beef for Puzzle Talk. What's the beef for him? Oh my god! No. Oh, that's crazy. Look at that. Four or five. I know it could be a trip. Yep. They're not even gonna see the fact that he's fighting to save them. They're gonna just be like, oh, another devil. See? How far be So he does no potion time. I gotta see, I gotta see a potion time's original. Oh my god, that voice acting. I gotta see potion time's original form. Like, like what was it? But he you said you, you, you're weaker now, you're falling, a chainsaw. Don't even come, don't even say chainsaw devil. Like they talking to this nigga like they on first name basis. What has this What does he know that we don't know? What does he know? Also, I'm not gonna lie, this ain't looking too hot for Digi. <laughs> what is that alien, bruh? Oh, devil. Oh my god. Oh, that's gross, but then you gotta do it. But this is so crazy. Hey, this is dude for the intro. Who's this cat? Well, this gun devil's been putting in work. I need to see the gun devil's form. And I need to see what it's done. Like, it was birthed in, in America. Like, did it just go on a global rampage? Like, what's going on here? This is the wrong time to say this because of how somber the scene is, but I really like how we can see the texture on her eye patch. Yeah. But this is so crazy. Oh! Wow, the shot out of his neck. Be serious. Oh, that was cool. That was cool how she helped. That joke is crazy, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he's not killing the gun devil though. Like he's having problems with him right now. Brandon, he is the attorney devil. So, oh my, this is so cool. So he's just gonna keep healing. But he, he's he's not killing the gun devil. Let's be serious. This is over. I'm gonna sleep a bit. What do you mean it's over? Or we figured out the weakness. What? So the attorney devil. Can't take pain for eternity? Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> and this nigga Dingy been fighting for three days straight. That's crazy. Yeah, leave them two behind. Nobody cares about them. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not happy with that fight. Let him quit. Nobody needs him. They should. She's got screws loose, though. We need her. What is this digging for? Oh, this must be a whole different devil. He's a hybrid, bro. A venom symbiote. That's what it is. See? The devil's gonna know about Pochi to know something. I need to have another conversation with Pochi. Denji, you gotta go to sleep and talk to Pochi to your dreams. You gotta figure something out. I got questions. What the fuck is this brown hair dude? Who's that? I ran it back. There's an ass people in that scene I don't know. I actually like her with that hat. I don't know what it's called. Beret, I think. French beret. That shit looks good on her. That whole outfit looks childish though, but I like that hat on her. I mean, he never learned how to read either. That sucks. <laughs> bro, you too hardy, bro. <laughs> and this nigga right here is too handsy, bro. Like, you don't, you don't push me. You don't grab me. Get your hand off my shoulder, chief. Oh, this is a woman. Hold up. She's hot. Why are you yelling, B? I don't care about Kabini. 
Eight sisters? <laughs> no wonder her options was devil hunter and sex slave, bro. Her parents are struggling. I'll be honest with this, Denji. I know you don't know because you're young and nobody's there to raise you. Don't be taking advantage of a drunk person. Like, I, I wouldn't want this kiss anymore. She, she's wasted. I don't want the kiss no more. This is... It's too much. Looks like a guaranteed kiss. This thing is stupid. The lips are supple though. Hold up. Maki! You finally made your appearance. Hey, hey, she hot. She hot. I ain't gonna lie, she hot. I don't like this little controlling shit she got going on, but she hot. <laughs> you just lied and told the truth. That joke is too horny. She's too horny to keep up the lie. There you go. Smart, smart. Her eyes are crazy. I think she picked up. I think she picked up the fact that she was invited to get uh to get some answers. Oh, you ain't saying nothing, bitch. <laughs> you ain't saying nothing. That's light work for me. Yeah, we definitely ain't kissing her. See, Jewel, we can't do it. Damn, Makima! <laughs> it's happening. I'm happy for my mans, but nah. I can't do it. And hey, why she look at you? God damn! <laughs> Shit! I'm in it. Oh, she's throwing up in the The nigga was too stunned to speak. <laughs> oh! It's coming out of her nose, too! <laughs> no offense. But you are ugly as shit. Oh, oh, oh! Oh my god! Oh. This nigga needs help. <laughs> That shit is gross. <laughs> bro, his first kiss was ruined, bro. I know this nigga is hurt. Is she about to take it a step further? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's happening? Denji, quickly, look down. Are you wearing pants? You still doing it, bitch. Stop. This is gross. I ain't gonna lie, Denji. Don't ever mess with her. Bro, she gets so drunk that she drags niggas back to her place. But that's a that's a case. That's a charge. But I don't ever mess with her again. Oh, never mind. She just brought him back for information. Hopefully. Okay, she's jealous. I wonder if she has a thing for Aki, and she she hates the fact that uh, he likes Makima. What's she doing? Oh, she did. Did you don't do it? I'm gonna be honest with you, don't do it, bro. That's a, that's a, that's a case. That's a case. I wouldn't. That's a case, bro. Bro, what is this eight-bit outro, bro? I like this. Whoa, hold up! Oh, hold up! Who this? Do this before I get hyped. Power? I ain't gonna lie, power gross, but power got body. I can't tell who that is. It's upside down. I'm not even. I'm, oh, that's Kobini. Nobody wants Kobini. I'm not gonna lie, she downgraded for me. <laughs> ah! Then he put it in the outro. Like, she's a drunk, man. I can't, I can't fuck with her. Like, she low key been working on me, because I was like, I used to call her R. Kelly Coon because she was kind of hugged up on Kobini. Kobini looked a little young. Did, oh, she is R. Kelly Coon because she's 16. Oh! Oh, she listens to Bump and Grind. I like this. I like the splash art. Alright, so that's my reaction to Chainsaw Man episode seven. I'm not gonna lie, I don't I don't know how to respond to this app, but um <laughs> Yeah, that's all I know how to say. Matter of fact, that's the title of this video. I don't know how to respond to this app, but yeah, I'm gonna start off from the beginning. The Eternity Devil, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not really not really feeling that fight, man. It, I feel like the hype was built up for it. Within the previous episode, you got Kobini and old boy trying to kill Denji. Kobini literally spazzing out, you know, the shaking of her, uh, her head, the close-ups, the screaming, 
carrying the knife, all that stuff. Like the devil was just, just eating off Kobe, just eating off him. And then got strongest. Like there's no weakness on this level. You'll never find my heart get trapped here for eternity. And the nigga couldn't even fight for eternity. I guess I guess pain is just is just way too much for uh, it's just way too much for that particular devil's ability. Like pain outweighs eternity, I guess. But eh. I mean, it was cool for what it was. Like, Dingy, it broke Dingy's neck. It was eating. It was eating that nigga up and stuff like that. It has a grudge against uh, Pochita. That's another thing. It knows Pochita. It knows the Chainsaw Devil. So, like, something is going on in the Devil world that we're not privy to until this episode. And I'm thinking that scene where Pochita first showed up, um, walking behind the tree. I'm thinking, I'm thinking something happened. There was like a big battle somewhere. I don't know if there's like a a world that the devils can convene in, cause like. Um, Aki and Cone, right? Big ass, big ass wolf that just be giving up her body all over the <laughs> because she down, like the old girl said, she down bad. Just be giving up her body to everybody, right? Like, I'm not sure that the actual devil itself was small and then when you summon parts of it, it's just gigantic or if the wolf itself is gigantic, I don't know. But that thing is chilling in, in some otherworldly box, right? I don't know if all devils can convene there, but a battle ensued somewhere. And I'm thinking either Pochita went up against some, some heavy hitters and then lost a lot of blood and whatever the chainsaw devil looked like before it got to Pochita's form, I'm thinking whatever that version was, was what actually went up against all these devils. Because because I, I, I can't remember, it was like one or two, one or two outros ago. I don't know what the last episode outro was. I, it might have been Power's outro, but I don't know. But it was one outro where it was like really dark. And it was like, it was kind of like death theme because they had Makima on one side with like the angel uh, halo and then her on the other side with like some kind of horns and stuff. And then it was always this headless like horse just galloping throughout the outro. So now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking this like a, um, a headless horseman type of, type of, not, not headless horseman, a death, like a war and death type of devils, right? Because if devils are made based off of people's fear, uh, eternity is kind of scary, like being trapped in a place forever without no way to escape. That is kind of scary when you think about it, which I understand why Kabini spazzed the way she did. But you got you got things like eternity devil, what tops that? The gun devil, people are scared of guns. Um, there's probably like a sword devil, a knife, any type of weaponry that, that you can think of, there's probably a devil for it. And then they got like the mass extinction devils, the, 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 the weapons of mass destruction type of stuff like death, uh, famine. Um, oh. Bro, the, the 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 apocalypse horses, niggas. The the four, the four horses. The what do we call it? What is it called? What is it called? The four horsemen of apocalypse. It's something I remember. I drew I drew this when I was in when I was in middle school. I drew all four of them. Every single one of them. The headless horseman represents death. There's one that represents war. There's one that represents uh like famine and disgusting shit like like bugs and all that diseases and stuff. And then there's another. What's the other one? What is the other? Bro. It might have those niggas. Those niggas might be in it. They might be in this show because what, is, what are they called? Oh my God, bro. I think I just cracked the code on something. Jesus. So yeah, so yeah. So maybe maybe Pochita had a battle with, with the higher ups and then and whatever chainsaw form of Pochita had before that, when when that that was what got fucked up. And then what we saw at, in, the, in the first episode, that's what was left after the battle, after losing so much blood. That's, that's gotta be, cause now the eternity devil knows Pochita, we don't know how, and then devils are starting to tar uh, target Dingy. The gun devil is dropping flesh all over the place, like what's going on with him? Why is he so active? But something is brewing. Something is brewing, bro. What is, what is this? And then I'm not gonna lie, I think I spoiled myself watching watching the intro, because I remember there was, there was like another devil that was uh, running at Dingy. I remember the scene was Makima, there was like a well, like the grudge well, and Dingy was running this way, and then there was another devil running this way. I'm not gonna play it back because I don't wanna, I don't wanna like see it again and be spoiled. But I think, I think there's like another, another nigga that looks like Dingy. I think there's another nigga that looks like him that had like swords or some shit on his arms, just like Dingy got chainsaws on his. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm cracking the cold right now. We gonna get to the second half though. We gonna get to the second half. Now, being about how, whatever her name is, um. Amino R. Kelly Coon is what I call her, cause she be she be praying on these little ass kids. <laughs> Yo, don't ever hang out with her. Fellas and ladies too. Like you ever in a situation where you got a, a woman who can, can't handle her liquor and she's being a little frisky, a little promiscuous, bro, walk away. Walk away from the situation. It's not gonna end well for you. Unless you a scumbag ass dude and you you prey on like uh women who are under the influence. If you if you that type of person, bro, I'm not gonna tell you what to do with yourself, but you know, 
cease to exist. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't, I can't rock with y'all. I can't rock with y'all. But yeah, any type of girl who's like under influence can't hold her liquor, but get away from the situation. It's only going to end up bad for you because they'll always believe the woman before they believe you in the courts, right? You got to protect yourself. You got to protect yourself. Denji, I know you're young. Nobody raised you, but you got to learn this lesson. I will. I hope you do not take the. I hope you don't take the bait. And I hope you don't have sex with her. I don't think I don't think he will, cause he's not that lucky. He's been having bad luck with women since this whole thing started, and, they, and they're all using him. So like right now, he doesn't see it, but he got bad luck with women right now. I don't think he'll have sex with her. I don't think it'll go down like that. Um, and then uh, what else? What else? Oh, I think I think R. Kelly Kuhn has a thing for for Aki, but I don't think she'll ever be able to tell him, because right now he's just focused on Maki, and, and she feels some type of way about. It. That's the vibe I'm getting. I don't think she'll ever be able to tell him until she dies, cause I, I feel like she's gonna die. I feel like everybody. Literally everybody I'm looking at it on the screen, I feel like everybody's gonna die except for Denji. Maybe, maybe one of these rookies too. The either Kobini or the other, the other dude, they might survive too because of how, how scared they are. And the old boy was saying like, when you scared, you know, you make smart decisions. Even though uh, actually being scared feeds it though. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. This is a long, this is a long ending. So anyway, this is my reaction. If you fuck with it, you want to see more. His last week's Chainsaw Man reaction, and then here's another video that's best for viewers. I've been gone for a long time. Uh, I've been doing, dealing with injury after injury. I got bad luck, man. My body just... My, the Lord is sending me a lesson. I'm just not listening. But yeah, so like, if you could, just go ahead and run through the Chainsaw play, uh, playlist. Watch those videos for me. Uh, watch other videos on the channel. Subscribe and all that jazz. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you... I'll eventually see you again for Mob and, and all that bleach. Blue lock, all of them. All of them. <laughs> I see y'all when I see you. <laughs>